Okay, um, my name's Ollie, and I'm going to talk about um, quick fix tricks tonight. Um, so, oh, my microphone stand. Um, so, if you run um, a build and with some errors, I'll pump the size of a bit. Uh, you get a reference to a line number and the, the file and the line number and indeed the column number. But it's a bit fiddly to get into your editor. Um, so I use the Vim editor, which is a, an improved version of Vi. And in that, you can just type colon make, and then it runs the make command for you, and it parses those outputs, and then it jumps to that line in the file. So this is memset was not declared in this scope, and I can go on to the next line. Um, and it shows me where it wasn't defined. And I can then take that, put that there. Oh, not quit. And then rerun the make. And it builds. So that's all very interesting. Um, but built into Vi with the quick fix mode, you can also search through files. Um, so you can grep for something. So I can grep for, say, fuzzy in this source tree. And it shows me all the places in the source tree that mention fuzzy. And it jumps to them in turn. So I can step through all the places that reference something, which is quite useful if you want to find bits of code for referencing something. And that's great as well. But um, the way that works is that it runs grep behind the scenes. So if I grep for fuzzy, uh, grep-r, in this source tree, there are lots and lots and lots of matches which are just in generated files or in binary files. OK, so if you've been to one of Grant's talks before, he'll tell you to use ACK instead of grep. So I'll ACK for fuzzy. And that doesn't actually seem to be any better, really. Um, but what is better is this is a source tree stored in Git, and Git has a built-in grep command, and that will only search for files that are checked into Git. So I can git grep for fuzzy. And very quickly, it finds me just the files that I actually care about, because I don't care about any of these generated files. If I change those, they'll get overwritten next time I run, um, run a build. Um, but what I want is I want to be able to search these from inside Git, from inside uh, Vim. Now, Vim allows you to set the program it uses when it runs grep. Great, so I can, I can point that at something that runs git grep. But then perhaps I actually also want to be able to search files as well. Um, so what I've done is um, in my uh, Vim RC, oops, Um, at the end here, it sets grep prog to this little script. And what that script does um, is, I mean, the details aren't, aren't totally important right now, but you can see it basically does some environmental variable stuff because otherwise you get problems. Um, and it, it kind of does a quick parse of the arguments to work out what's going on. And then it runs either git grep or grep. Um, so the, the way it works is if the command line makes sense as a grep command line, it just runs grep. Um, otherwise, it runs git grep. And if you want to force it, you can just put a dash dash git in, which it filters out and passes it to git grep. Um, and that's basically it. Inside Vim, I can now run. Uh, so if I grep dash r fuzzy, that's going to run as a, a normal grep and take ages and search all files I don't care about. And if I just grep for fuzzy, it magically knows to run git grep. Um, that's it. Thank you.